Hey, what's up guys, Steve here. And today's video will cover only major set releases for Michael Jordan base cards from 1986 to 1992. And the 1992 Hoops basketball set kicks things off at number 20 with card number 30. This Michael Jordan will currently set you back around two to five dollars on eBay. Taking a look at current average sale prices, a PSA 8 sells for around $18, $27.38 for a PSA 9, and a PSA 10 currently sells for $126.24 on average. And the record sell of this card comes back in March of 2021, selling for $285. Graded just over 1,100 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 478 in a PSA 10, 458 in a PSA 9, and 123 in a PSA 8. We're sticking to the 1992-93 NBA season at number 19 with Jordan's Skybox base card with card number 31. This card will set you back anywhere between $2 and $10 on eBay. Looking at the current average sale prices, $16.73 for a PSA 8, $26.54 for a PSA 9, and a PSA 10 of this card currently sells for $139.58 on average. And the record sale of this 92 Skybox comes back in June of 2021, selling for $296. Graded just over a thousand times by PSA, this Jordan is a pop of $399 in a PSA 10, $419 in a PSA 9, and 134 in a PSA 8. Coming in at number 18 is this 1991 Hoops Michael Jordan, card number 30. This card currently sells for between $2 and $5 on eBay. The average sale price of a PSA 8 is $13.88, $22.01 for a PSA 9 compared to $136.26 for a PSA 10. And the record sell of this card comes back in February of 2021, selling for $309.04. Graded 2,273 times by PSA, this Jordan base card is a pop of 495 in a PSA 10, 990 in a PSA 9, and 510 in a PSA 8. We get Jordan's base card from the inaugural Ultra Basketball set from 1992 at number 17, with card number 27. The raw sales on eBay I was finding range between $2 and $4. Taking a look at current average sale prices, a PSA 8 will cost you around $17, roughly $25 for a PSA 9, and a PSA 10 of this card sells for $129.82 on average. And the record sale of this card comes back in May of last year selling for $382.73. Graded close to 2,500 times by PSA, this Jordan is a pop of 635 in a PSA 10, compared to 935 in a PSA 9, and even 574 in a PSA 8. We get Michael Jordan's first Topps basketball card at number 16, from the 1992 top set with card number 141. You can pick up a copy of this card for as little as $1 on eBay. The average sale price of a PSA 8 is currently $12.62, $18.78 for a PSA 9, and just short of $100 for a PSA 10. And the record sale of this card comes back in February of 2021, selling for $430 even. Graded 2,438 times, this card is a pop of 578 in a PSA 10, 1,239 in a PSA 9, and 440 in a PSA 8. We're back to the 1991 NBA season at number 15 with Jordan's base card from the 1991 Skybox set with card number 39. Most of the sales on eBay I found range between $3 and $5. A PSA 8 will set you back around 
roughly $25 for a PSA 9, and the average sale price for a PSA 10 is $105.71. And the record sale of this card comes back in January of last year, selling for $460. Graded close to 3,500 times by PSA, this Jordan is a pop of 1,367 in a PSA 10, 1,420 in a PSA 9, and 398 in a PSA 8. We get Michael Jordan's first Upper Deck base card from the inaugural 1991-92 basketball set at number 14, with card number 44. You can buy this card on eBay for just a couple bucks. A PSA 8 of this card will set you back around $10, while a PSA 9 will cost you a little over $20. And the current average sale price for a PSA 10 comes in at $89.41. And the record sale of this card comes back in February of 2021, selling for $460. Graded 6,524 times by PSA, this Jordan is a pop of 1,581 in a PSA 10, 2,757 in a PSA 9, and 1,425 in a PSA 8. Make that back-to-back -back appearances for Upper Deck at number 13, this time from the 1992-93 set with card number 23. Most of the sales I found on eBay range between $1 and $6. You won't find the same discount on this card, as a PSA 8 has an average sale price around $16, $32.70 for a PSA 9, while a PSA 10 currently sells for $251.56 on average. And the record sale of this Jordan comes back in March of last year, selling for $465 even. Graded close to 4,800 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 881 in a PSA 10, compared to 2,075 in a PSA 9, and 1,331 in a PSA 8. Up next at number 12 is this 1992-93 Flair Michael Jordan, card number 32. Sale comps on eBay range between $2 and $3. You can pick up a PSA 8 for less than $10, while a PSA 9 will set you back a little over $20, compared to a PSA 10 average sale price of $210.72. And the record sale of this card comes back in February of 2021, selling for $660. Created 2,179 times, this Jordan is a pop of only 284 in a PSA 10, compared to 992 in a PSA 9, and 628 in a PSA 8. We get Jordan's first Skybox card from the inaugural 1990-91 set at number 11, with card number 41. Ungraded sales on eBay range between $2 and $4. The current average sale price of a PSA 8 is $13.64, $22.52 for a PSA 9, and $204.81 for a PSA 10. And the record sale of this card comes in at $680 even. Graded over 11,000 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 1,114 in a PSA 10, compared to 4,438 in a PSA 9 and even 3,380 in a PSA 8. Kicking off the top 10 is this 1992-93 Stadium Club Jordan, card number 1. You can pick up a raw copy of this card on eBay for a couple bucks. A PSA 8 sells for less than $20, while a PSA 9 sells for around $35 compared to a PSA 10 that will set you back around $250 on average. And the record sale of this card also comes back in February of last year, selling for $822 even. Graded 2,620 times, this Jordan is a pop of 492 in a PSA 10, 
compared to 1,259 in a PSA 9. We get Jordan's first hoops card from the 1989 basketball set at number 9, with card number 200. Most of the sales I found on eBay range between a couple bucks, but I did find some as high as $10. Taking a look at current average sale prices, $16.43 for a PSA 8, $28.43 for a PSA 9, and a PSA 10 currently sells for $166.28 on average. And the record sale of this card comes back in June of 2021, selling for $840. Graded close to 19,000 times by PSA, this Jordan is a pop of 3,824 in a PSA 10, compared to 9,102 in a PSA 9, and even 4,056 in a PSA 8. Up next at number 8 is this classic 1990 Hoops Michael Jordan, card number 65. An ungraded copy of this card on eBay will set you back only a couple bucks. You can pick up a PSA 8 for around $14, just under $30 for a PSA 9, while a PSA 10 currently sells for $306.33 on average. And the record sell of this card comes back in March of last year, selling for $900 even. Graded 8,779 times by PSA, this Jordan is a pop of 494 in a PSA 10, 2,953 in a PSA 9, and even 3,360 in a PSA 8. Coming in at number 7 is this 1992 Topps Archives, card number 52. With shorter print runs compared to the flagship set, Raw sales on eBay range between $7 and $15. The average sale price of a PSA 8 is $27.81, $61.60 for a PSA 9, compared to a PSA 10 that sells for around $450 on average. And the record sale of this card also comes back in February of 2021, selling for $960 even. Graded 3,901 times by PSA, this Jordan is a pop of 447 in a PSA 10, 1,885 in a PSA 9, and 994 in a PSA 8. Up next at number 6 is this 1991 Flair Jordan, card number 29. An ungraded copy of this Jordan will only set you back a couple bucks on eBay. You can pick up a PSA 8 for less than $10, a little over $20 for a PSA 9, compared to a PSA 10 average sale price of $346.62. And the record sale of this card surprisingly comes back in June of 2016, selling for $1,006. Graded close to 8,000 times, this Jordan is a pop of 715 in a PSA 10, compared to 2,928 in a PSA 9, and even 2,571 in a PSA 8. We get another iconic Junk Wax era Jordan to kick off the top 5 with this 1990 Fleer, card number 26. Raw sales on eBay range between as low as $2 and as high as $10. The average sale price of a PSA 8 is $16.44, $35.07 for a PSA 9, and $278.61 for a PSA 10. And the record sale of this card comes back in February of 2021, selling for $1,775. With by far the largest population report on today's list, this Jordan has been graded close to 36,000 times including a pop of 4,905 in a PSA 10, compared to 17,699 in a PSA 9, and even 9,164 in a PSA 8.
Up next at number four is this 1989 Fleer, card number 21. An ungraded copy of this Jordan will set you back between $10 and $20 on eBay. You could pick up a PSA 8 for around $30, just over $80 for a PSA 9, while a PSA 10 sells for over $1,000 on average. And the record sell of this card comes in at $3,900 even. Graded 16,764 times by PSA, this Jordan is a pop of 1,061 in a PSA 10, 8,134 in a PSA 9, and even 5,279 in a PSA 8. Coming in at number 3 is this 1988-89 Fleer, card number 17. The raw sales on eBay I was finding ranged between as low as $65 and as high as $200. The average sale prices really start to heat up at number 3, with $155.75 for a PSA 8, $342.38 for a PSA 9, and $3,758.75 for a PSA 10. And the record sell of this card happened at a golden auction back in March of 2021 selling for $11,070 even. Graded over 18,000 times by PSA, this Jordan is a pop of 574 in a PSA 10, compared to 6,207 in a PSA 9, and even 6,536 in a PSA 8. We're moving back another year at number two with this 1987 Fleer Michael Jordan, card number 59. An ungraded copy of this Jordan will set you back between two and $500 on eBay. The average sale price of a PSA 8 is $502.04, close to $1,700 for a PSA 9, and a PSA 10 will cost you around 20 grand. And the record sale of this card happened at a heritage auction back in February of last year, selling for $58,800. Graded 15,494 times, this Jordan is a pop of only 209 in a PSA 10, compared to 2,332 in a PSA 9, and even 6,652 in a PSA 8. Coming at no surprise, topping off today's list at number one is Michael Jordan's rookie card from the 1986-87 Fleer basketball set with card number 57. Graded 22,932 times by PSA, this Jordan rookie is a pop of 318 in a PSA 10, compared to 2,856 in a PSA 9, and a massive 8,272 in a PSA 8. Unfortunately, with eBay's new authentication service, it is unknown if this Jordan rookie came back authentic, but there was one raw sale over the past 90 days for $3,500. A PSA 8 of this card sells for just over $8,000 on average, $21,826.14 for a PSA 9, while a PSA 10 currently sells for over a quarter of a million dollars on average. And the record sell of this Jordan comes back in July of 2021, selling for $840,000. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.